Today I'm going to just be doing a really quick video to show everybody how to make the most of the uh, to make the most out of the traps set that I just uploaded to the marketplace. I don't have that already uploaded to the marketplace yet, so it's in my library right now, but when you purchase it, it will show up under marketplace purchases right here with the rest of your sets. I pre-built a little bit of a dungeon using my dungeon omatic pack set uh, right here. Pretty much just simple little pieces you can use to build this exact dungeon I created, and as well as a couple other ones. You can pretty much make infinite layouts using this set. So I just sort of took 10 minutes and pre-built this dungeon, and I've started to fill it with a few traps, but I'm going to add some more. Uh, the ones that I've already added I put on the map and background layer so that my players can see that there's something amiss with that area and I kind of want them to worry and eventually we can build up some traps with what we've already started putting down. Oops. Just move the traps and not the rest of everything else. So I'm just kind of making a, electric, a, a grid here and I'm going to use another asset that I actually haven't uploaded yet to make this an electrified grate when my players step on it. So when I want to use that, I'm going to switch to the GM info overlay. So I've got it already in place. I actually haven't uploaded this file yet, so I'm pulling it from my computer because the set isn't live on the marketplace yet. And then I can have these pieces already set up on my GM info layer so that once my players step on the electrified parts of the grid, they get a nasty shock, but they can also know where those are. They don't have to try and remember. No one's map keeper. And I can add some extra traps. I, I put on the player info overlay back on the same layer as the back map and background a nice lever that does something nefarious and a false wall that'll jump out and squish them when they walk by it. But I can hide that false wall using a hide and reveal area if I want. Now I'm just gonna, now that I'm on the GM info overlay, I'm going to add some other traps. And this way I will know where my traps are as soon as my players step on them, but they won't. So it'll be a big surprise. So that nice big rock will fall on someone who steps there. Eh, stick it there. And then we can add some spikes because what is a dungeon full of traps without spikes? No fun at all. That's what goes there. Let's add a couple extras. So I just copy and paste like I would anything else. looks sneaky of me. I also added a one tripwire on the uh, player level, but we might not necessarily want to do that. Let's throw in an acid pit, just because who doesn't love a giant pit of acid? And I have it snapping to the grid right now, but you can easily turn that off by just disabling the grid, and then you can put that in the middle for now, just for ease of setup. Everything's made so it should work if you snap it to the grid. And I think I want to do a double acid pit there anyway, because I have some high agility players in this game. Let's do a giant roly-poly death ball for this nice long corridor I've got set up. That'll just appear out of nowhere. Eh, it looks good. That looks good. Some Indiana Jones action. And what is a dungeon without a gelatinous cube to clean up the mess I'm making? There's also a drop net you can pin your players beneath. Uh, here's a nice big spiky ball that can scale up with 
stick that in the opposite tunnel from the normal wall. Let's see. Oh, we need some we need some buzz saws coming out of the wall. That'll everyone loves those. So one there. One there. And all of these can be rotated and flipped in any direction you'd like, and then of course they still work with the grid, so you can just create a nice little hallway of horrors here for your poor unfortunate players. But it's very easy to set everything up as a DM. So let's say that I wanted to make some gargoyles that shoot fire. I'll pull these out and actually move these to the map layer because I want the player to be able to see these. Just pulled up my uploads. Again, this set isn't out on the marketplace yet, so. Put that back on the map layer. But then on the GM layer, I am going to place some fire that's going to shoot out of those gargoyles. And it's just going to be ready. That way it'll be there for me when I need it. I'm going to disable the grid for the fire because that was made to work in a slightly larger area than I have now. So, put that set up. And duplicate that for the other one. And then when my players step onto that, that's when I will simply take, like with these electrical patches, as soon as my player steps in this position, all I have to do is move this to the map layer, and then that will be shown to all of my players as clearly an obvious trap. And if we want to have a little bit of fun with it, we've got some blood spatters so we can, we can remember on our map layer the trap that killed the rogue or the trap that killed that wizard. Never have uh, con be your dump stat wizards. We can even use that with um, the hidden levers or hidden stairs. Maybe we want to have a stairway hidden over here that's what that... I want to turn the map... Uh, turn the grid back on for this piece. So, just turn that back on. Now we're snapping to the grid again. That's the scale it's supposed to be. So maybe we want to have a secret doorway that opens up in the floor underneath our players after they turn this magical lever. Well, we can easily do that. Let's put it right there. I like that. And then as soon as they turn the lever and get to the end, we just switch that from the GM layer to the map token layer and magically a secret door is opened. You can also use the uh, false wall for the same purpose. That that'll That can also be moved from layer to layer. Uh, if I select the map and background layer, then I can move that secret wall out or in, or I can send it to the GM layer, or from the GM layer to the map layer. So this set is really made to work with Roll20, and it's really meant to be something that you can quickly populate a dungeon if your players are getting through there really way too fast you can throw down oh let's add a giant smashy log a thing whoops let's add a giant smashy log there so that should you know take some bluster out of your cleric that likes to smash doors in or whatever you've got that needs uh, trapped the face there's over 150 different traps, tricks. There's caltrops, slime walls, torches, anything you'd need to quickly and easily populate a dungeon full of awful stuff and then, you know, keep track of your nefarious murders and what traps have happened. Uh, so that is the Dungeon Omatic Trap Pack from Brass Badger Workshop. Hope you guys like it, and always feel free to contact me if you have any questions or for suggestions on what my next tutorial should be. Thanks, bye.